Breaking news, baby dolls. Bitcoin has hit $64,000. It is pumping. It has broken through. And boy, oh boy, does the juicy news get even juicier when I tell you what's coming next. Our favorite Korean trader, Sato, is short. Maybe by the time you witness this video, friends, he's already been liquidated. His liquidation price is $64,500. And here I am saying, finish him. Get your spoons out. <laughs> he's been adding to his short as well. So this is what you get to see, friends, a disbelief pump. Everyone's like shocked. We can't go up. Rate cuts are bearish. We can't go up. The economy's cracking. We can't go up. Earnings came out bad. Yes, we can go up. Yes, we will go up. You want to know why? Because Jim Cramer is not bullish on crypto. He is bearish as hell. That's why we're going to go up. Now, baby dolls, to accompany this news, I'm going to play some actual nice, juicy, some cranky G, heavy beats to accompany this. You know, while Bitcoin was going up, friends, we have some nice, juicy news because Ethereum, surprisingly, has popped through 2,500. And what you can do, friends, is on these little moves, you can go down to the ETH BTC ratio. You don't have to waste your time too much with it, but you can go down and have a look at who's leading the move up or down. And Ethereum, you can see this on a 15-minute chart, Ethereum is starting to push up. See ETH BTC? So it's almost 0.04, which basically means Vitalik's singing as of recent times, has actually been working. You remember it just from days ago, friends. It's actually at the Token 2049 Singapore event. And its properties are far better than all the rest of them. It's mathematical. No more double spend. It's incredible. Mr. Lord Vitalik, whatever it is you're doing, sir, just keep pumping the price. That's all we ask of you. Okay, now, friends, we're only just getting started. This is interesting. Something from the Matrix has appeared. Forbes released this article on digital assets. It's funny, just to let you know, because they're too scared of using the word crypto because crypto implies like drug usage or thinking about drug usage or past drug usage and everybody's just basically maybe like dressing up like an astronaut and smoking some darts. Maybe. But digital assets just refers to like, hey, come and invest in the future with a different name. But it's the same thing. Okay, so look what they say. Roca Negra reveals it's quietly preparing for a $35 trillion Federal Reserve crisis with Bitcoin, predicted to spark a sudden price boom. And let me tell you something. When Forbes deep state connoisseurs are writing shit like this, my brain is exploding because I'm wondering what type of psyops is going on here. You want to know sometimes, friends? Sometimes a journalist, they release an article, but they don't know they're releasing like red tape stuff. They're not allowed to talk about stuff like that. Not everything gets vetted all the time. And then when it just gets quietly pulled back later on. I wonder what part of the matrix this thing is infiltrating right now. And of course, friends, a matrix story wouldn't be complete without your friend Somi AI'd onto another girl's top with her flashing the camera like this, of course. Now, friends, why I love this, I, for some reason, this one makes everybody really angry. I don't know why. It's, it's not even one of the best looking ones. Just for some reason, this makes everyone super, super, super angry. Is it because I'm half blonde, half brunette? I don't know what it is. Do you like not like red shirts? It's the fishnets. Something about that video makes everybody tilt where they start abusing me going, stop, stop. I'm like, oh, you told the wrong guy to stop. I love that stuff, friends, by the way. For some reason, these just grip attention. It's like your brain, you're getting like this mind flip. You're like, wait a minute, I'm used to seeing this pattern of pixels, right? Because we're living in a simulation, seeing on this face, on this body, and then you're just changing the face and putting somewhere else. You're flipping out. It's almost like, friends, have you ever seen those babies where dad's a twin or dad basically he has a beard and then he shaves right there's been stuff like that there's actually one cool famous video i think on youtube where um it's either mum's a twin or dad's a twin it might be mum's a twin and the baby goes to mum 
and the baby looks at the twin sister, and then the baby go, go grabs the twin sister, and they get the twin sister grabs holding on the baby. Then it goes back and looks like mom. They look exactly the same. Then it goes back and goes to the other one. So cute. Funny enough, friends, I actually found it right here. Look at this. I've been, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> right here, right here. Right here. Oh, no. Watch, watch. I've been bamboozled again. No. Oh, this is torture. Just round and round we go. Talk about. A kiss, a cry, a rights, a wrongs. This was the type of entertainment we had to live through on YouTube, friends. This was seven years ago, right? Now, I mean, like, look what you're watching right now. We're taking it to a whole new level. You're like, oh, I can gamble on my entertainment. That's crypto. Welcome to the future. Now, friends, as we explore what's been going on, I think it's interesting just to have a look at what people are basically conceptually dealing with in their minds. So this is basically the crypto Bitcoin market, and we dropped down when rates went up. Back in 2022, you see this spike down. So basically rates going up here, we basically make the price go down. And general consensus by a lot of people, they said, well, crypto is crashing because the rates went up. That's what everybody said. And I was around back then and you were too. But now those same people, I said, okay, rates went up and we crashed. And now you're saying, all right, rates are going to go down. If you say, maybe they pump, they go, no, 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 can't pump. No, nope, economy's doing bad. What are, you, what are you talking about, bro? You literally, you were the ones telling me crypto crashed because of rate hikes. Well, now they're reversing the rate hikes. Why shouldn't we go up? The truth is, friends, the cycle is bigger than just one button press. It's not. And the truth is, the rate hikes, they're not just a button to be pressed. The rate hikes was because excessive demand came up. You see, so rate rate hikes were a response to what was going on. Too much cap, capital misallocation. Maybe what we're dealing with right now, the neutral rate, by the way, is like three, three and a half percent, and we're still at like five for US. Maybe we have misallocation of capital right now. And you're thinking, how can we misallocate to capital? Do you mean like meme coins going up too much? No, total opposite. I think meme coins haven't gone up enough. I think the economy's tight. I think we haven't literally haven't allocated enough capital to crypto. I think as the rates go down from five down to three and a half percent to that neutral rate, we'll see a more fair pricing for crypto. I think that's that's pretty much that's contrarian, friends. That's what no one's really expecting that because that would imply a sort of like a soft-ish landing, a soft flaccid landing instead of just a nosedive, which is what everybody's pretty much begging for. They're like, yes, crash down to twenty thousand dollar Bitcoin or less. So I guess we'll see what happens, but global liquidity index, everything's pumping. But look, friends, if they're gonna, if 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 Rockenegger is gonna scam everybody at the end, they have to make everybody's number go up first. You get it? So they can blame it on someone else when it goes down. In other lighter news, friends, one inch has said Fusion Plus is open to any chain. Pulse Chain can jump in by deploying smart contracts on chain. So I don't know who this is. Probably blocked me. Uh, just a warning, just a big, big, big warning to you. Okay, critical warning. People who block me enter a terrible life curse. And I didn't believe it like the first three times, but I'm about the fourth time. Okay, I'm just telling you now, for some reason, the universe knows. Okay, so just tread lightly with that. And by the way, I don't block people, only like a few doxes and stuff. I'll, I'll actually message you, you know, hey, I've got to block you because like you're spamming my thing or whatever. But um, when it comes to that, I'll, if someone's blocked me, I will click on block on them just so I remember that they blocked me later on. That's it. So just as a like a keynote. Now, Pulse Chain, friends, hasn't been integrated to one inch, and that will be great if they are. And I don't even know how that tech things work. I don't know how they're meant to do it, but it's just a sign that things are moving on, okay? Look, I can't, can't you imagine like in 12 months, your friend Somi is literally saying, the time to buy Pulse Chain was when it wasn't on one inch. Was when Richard Hart was still fighting the corrupt SEC in court. When he wasn't streaming, that was the time to buy. Not financial advice. Speaking of Richard Hart and Pulse Chain, the hex price has been revealed. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, one dollar. I know you like it, lady. Also, a special shout out to everyone. All right, now we have some special... 
Major updates to your friend Sami's Telegram channel. I have now enabled stickers and GIFs, which is now changing the game already. As you can imagine, friends, this, this, I'm telling you right now, these are the updates that everybody goes wild for in a bull market, okay? Logo, maybe there's like a purple color change. Maybe instead of like light purple, they make it dark purple. Coin ticker, trust me, things pump off that. <laughs> and in a bear market, you can literally say, I have a billion dollars. I will now buy this coin. No one's going to buy it. It's funny how it works, right? The cycle is more powerful, friends. It's more powerful than just an interest rate toggle or whatever. So feel free to join, friends. T.me, your friend Tommy, official. There's nothing in there. There's no shilling. Like, there's no, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't tell you to do anything. There's no links of like leverage, whatever. It's just come hang out and just see what happens. By the way, first comment from Brandon White, is Landwolf still going? Yes, it is, sir. In case you haven't seen, I actually bring up the chart right now. There was this fake FUD event, fake FUD, where they said that the team had migrated to Tron and they didn't. And look at this, this big fat, this weekly engulfing. It actually came down here and then just started pumping up. Man, that's weird, man. He dumped on that. Because, friends, it's such a small community. How did like this, it was a FUD attack that came from other people and that caused the big low and then it just charges up. Like, because we know it wasn't them because they literally went to just go scam everybody on the Tron version one. We know it wasn't them buying it. It wasn't like a whale pushing it down to go buy it up. But it's just fascinating how it works. So yeah, the dev is still cooking, friends, but I'm used to these comments because um, it's from every single coin. It's because people haven't looked at their phone for three weeks. They come back, hey, is that thing still going? They haven't watched all my juicy high value content where I say everything's correlated, everything's moving up and down together. Because I get it, man. I get it. Because everyone's got their own little pockets, and it's hard for them to see the whole scope of the field. That's why you watch my channel. I also want to throw this out your way, friends. You need an abundance mindset to win. So everyone in everyone, everyone in crypto, you got to be playing for what does the world look like when the crypto industry is 10 trillion. Now, it might not get to 10 this cycle. Maybe it only gets to five. Okay, it gets to 10 in the one after that. Who cares? It's going to 10 trillion at some point. So the Pulse chain community needs to stop acting like Pulse is going to be 600 million market cap forever. Because it's not, man. It's 600 million right now. They're just tiny. Man, you can see it right now. I see 664 million user uh, user circulating supply market cap. That That's tiny, right? You remove the origin address. So from that point, right, you're having abundance mindset. If it goes from 600 million to 60 B billion, that's 100 X men of a spear. That's freaking enormous, friends. So the community, if it witnesses this, the community altcoins existing today, if, if, if Pulse the spear does a 100, your poopy lagging scams from today are going to do like 25 to 50 X. Okay, so they, they don't even catch up to Pulse. And then the best ones will do a 1,000x. But you got to look at that difference, friends. I just told you, if Pulse can get the 100x higher, all the scam trash ones where they're just insiders are dumping, they'll only do like 25x. They'll underperform Pulse from here. Okay? And But look what the upside is, a 1,000x. But by the way, I just told you, okay, the crap ones do 25x. That, isn't that amazing? Look at Ethereum, though. If Ethereum's only got a 4x to go, then the crappy Ethereum... Meme coins only going to do it two. Compare two x to like a twenty five or fifty x. You see now, once again, Ethereum is like you, people would say there's a ninety five percent chance Ethereum gets to ten k, and they might say to you, okay, there's only like a that's where everyone disagrees, right? Some people will say there's a fifty percent chance Pulse Chain does a hundred x from here. Some people will say a hundred percent chance. Some people will say one percent chance. Most of the market out there in the, in the crypto industry says one percent chance, and I think it's mispriced. But you got to have an abundance mindset because when this happens, friends, Cardanzo hit 100 billion peak in 2021. You see that? And so Pulse Chain to only reach 60 billion is very achievable in one to two cycles. It's very, very achievable if it gets there. And there's Polygon, there's Binance, there's Arbitrum. It's all the same. They're all liquidity linked, all of them. It's just that you're looking for the most bang for buck where you have key information asymmetry and edge. Here is the Squirtle Squad cheering up with these 10s, 10x, 10x, 10x. That's a 1,000, friends. You multiply them by each other, and you get to see it, okay? So in this world where the spear pumps, everything pumps. It's just like Bitcoin's a spear of the crypto industry. What do you think happens to altcoins if Bitcoin did a 10x from today? If Bitcoin went to $650,000, 
my gosh, what the hell do you think is going to happen to altcoins? Well, that, just imagine that. You have to imagine if Pulse does a 100x, right? Not, not even just 10, 100. You can imagine the upside there. And check out me as Michael Saylor again, friends. So this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful AI. Now, Michael Saylor, he always posts that he's accumulated Bitcoin, and that's why we're having fun here. So your friend Somi here has acquired an additional shitload of meme coins for way too much money at an average price of still early. As of today's date, your friend Somi now holds a lot of moon bags and needs the bull market to please confirm friendship. Nothing to do with fundamentals. Nothing to do with price to earnings ratio. Nothing to do with interest rates. Nothing. It's just literally straight out bravery, courage, belief. That's Vince, That's literally the only formula you needed to make it 2012, 2016, and 2020. You didn't have to be a master economy reader. You didn't have to be some like wizard with like, oh, the yield curve, whatever. You didn't actually need that. It's just literally just shut up and just keep believing and don't stop believing. Do you think this time is going to be different? Let me know. I have my final table here for you. This is the stock market S&P 500. The number of all-time highs, it closes on the day, a new all-time high for the year. We had a big, big, big record recently, friends. Look at this, 2013 to 2022, look at all these blues. We closed many all-time highs. But this was actually lower than the tech bubble run of the internet stocks up here. You see that? Also, 1960s was a run, I think, after World War II recovery. But you can see right now, we are now reset. We're now back here. Okay, so it doesn't mean we can't get another one. Of course, next year can be lower, etc. But it's just showing you that it's interesting that the last time we had such like repetitive blues was internet tech stocks. And now we are AI people. And AI is really deflationary. It's wiping out a lot of jobs. And it's going to keep getting exponentially better. That's so why I just thought it was fitting just to show you all these AI images and me on girls. That's pretty much what we know AI for, AIs. But it's just like the early internet. Is it liberating mankind? Yeah, it is. But 99% video games, listening to music, sending banana emojis, watching people naked, watching movies. That's literally 99%. Well, what about AI? Yeah, AI is like, oh, let's replace lawyers and the library and stuff. Okay, yeah, 1%. Well, you know 99% what it's going to be used for. It's going to be, hey, put your friend Sommy's face on this porn star's body and then redraw this other thing and then make this like really questionable sexual act happen and then package it into a picture gif and then let's just go spam him in his telegram channel using the ai picture you know that that is probably higher odds of happening with like a hundred percent times 100 times more frequency than someone coming out here saying i can solve the legal system with ai you know where it's all headed anyway. Will AI AI get a run later? I guess we're just going to find out. But this is very, very common for the stock market. The beautiful part is right now it has closed these new all-time highs. The next liquidity bucket, friends. Remember, Bitcoin is like ready. It's ready. That final liquidity bucket, we need Mr. Russell 2000. Once it finally expands, it's go time for crypto. But of course, is the economy going to crack? Waiting for that US unemployment rate. It meant one thing, you know, for market friends. Mr. Stock Market, the S&P is nobody's bitch, okay? It doesn't give you a free lunch. You're not going to be able to sell infinitely while the economy is rolling over. You're not going to be able to do it, okay? It front runs the future. So we're in a disbelief rally. So what we might find is crypto and stocks go up, and then the data for the economy, it's positive for the next five to six months. The market's front running it. And then what you end up finding out later on once we do roll over and it starts going garbage, the US data turns like six months later. It's always front running the future. See, but by the time people see the bad data in the news, they start to click sell. But they might be selling altcoins down 70, 80, 90%. They might be selling Bitcoin down 70%. They might be selling the stock market down 20, 30%. And they'll be selling the next bottom of the cycle. But you and I, we're on a moon mission right now. First, we want to make it to the top so we can get Jim Cramer bullish. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. Tell mom and dad you love them. Catch you in the next one.